In today's video, I'm going to show you an amazing collection of circus and carnival model trains, dioramas, model scenery, carousels, and memorabilia. There will also be an unboxing. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. I feel very lucky that I was able to connect with the person that owns the collection I am showing you today. He does not currently have a YouTube channel, but he was kind enough to send me some photos so that I could share his collection with everyone. But first... In my last video, I showed you my inventory process. Today's unboxing is one of the results of this process. The first item is a baggage car. This is the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey 70-foot heavyweight baggage car, Big Cats. It was released on July of 2016. The next item is a Ringling Brothers FP7 powered locomotive. This was released in June of 2011. This locomotive is white with a blue stripe and red lettering. They released two road numbers in each locomotive color scheme. The next item is also a Ringling Brothers FP7 powered locomotive, and it was also released in June of 2011. This locomotive is silver with a red stripe and white lettering. The final item is definitely the most eclectic of the bunch. This is the P.T. Barnum Circus Train Set Special Edition by Micro Trains. This set includes a 440 steam locomotive and tender, a 26-foot boxcar, a 26-foot flat car with a colorful wagon, a 26-foot flat car with a red wagon, a 26-foot flat car with a shoe wagon, and a 26-foot caboose with an elephant on it. Now let's head back to the collector's basement and continue our slideshow. We have been sharing emails and the following are quotes from our conversation. He pretty much has every circus or carnival train produced in Z, N, H, O, O, and G gauges on display since the 70s. He's recreated Disney World's Main Street, the train and custom floats. He also has a few custom attractions. His favorite carnival model is his very first, a die-cast metal HO scale tilt-a-whirl ride made by Don Cummings out of Bay City, Michigan. He would visit his aunt there every summer, and Don introduced him to carnival model building and gave him his first prototype model that he used prior to production. His favorite item in the collection has to be a fully restored wooden carousel seat turned into a love seat and built on a steel support, which he acquired from a local toy museum at auction after the owner died. And his personal favorite thing is the banner that hangs over his display for the two-headed calf. His family owned a circus sideshow years ago, and that is from the early 1900s and was the entrance to our exhibit. He also has a large banner, Sideshow Style and Size, that advertised the reptiles as well along with a poster and some pics. He has long bought two and most often three of each thing. One for using or running, one for maybe a display, and one for collection or sale down the road. He always wanted things he saw when he was starting out in the hobby and the guys would say, oh, they haven't made that in years, long gone. So he decided to buy extras along the way for his use and as an investment for sale. He 
He has had some visitors, people he knows, and done a lot of press over the years. But since it is in his private home, he doesn't open it up to groups or strangers in that sense. He now builds circus, zoo, and amusement park models in Lego. As he got older, it was so much easier with Lego. No sprues, filing, trimming, painting, gluing, etc. And he loves it. It also allowed him to be more creative at the same time. Many of these things light, move, and have sound too. I am now going to head down to Lulu's for some of their raspberry pie as I let the rest of the slideshow play for you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day.